Good morning and welcome to our webinar this morning. Good afternoon to those of you that are on Central Time Zone or beyond. My name is Lynn King-Smith. I'm the CEO at Ticket Force, and I'm really excited to uh, introduce this webinar to you today. We're going to take questions towards the end, so um, if you have questions, there's a questions panel that you can type in, and we'll leave room for that uh, towards the end of today. Um, this is going to be an overview, and I'm sure it will raise a lot of questions as well, um, so we want to make sure that uh, we get through the material today, and, um, and then we'll ask, have time for questions later in the broadcast. So again, welcome. If you have any trouble with sound, um, sometimes on the computer sound, you might want to try calling in to the call, and then you can observe on your screen. You can also, if you have some technical questions, uh, Whitney Smith is on the line today um, to help you with those. So you can, she'll be able to see any questions that you type in as well. About five years ago, I asked myself the question, what if venues didn't have to choose between managing their own ticketing systems, we call it self-service ticketing or in-house ticketing, and what the big agencies bring with their marketing power in doing the heavy lifting of configuration and support. I could see where ticketing was heading. In one direction, companies are popping up trying to make everything easy, but the truth is, there's nothing really easy about ticketing. In the other direction, more and more complexities and requirements are coming up, resulting in complicated programming, configuration, and honestly, a lot of third-party solutions trying to get the job done. So while the options have grown, the choices for venues are not always very clear. And those of us who are providers have been working hard to make complex ticketing seem simple. But some have put products out there to you before they're ready. We've seen setups take months and months or not actually happen at all. We've seen the simple products that overpromise and can't deliver. And that's why today I'm so happy to introduce a new ticketing platform, not only to you, but actually to all of North America. Today you're going to get a glimpse of the SoftTix platform that powers professional sports teams, major concerts, and arts organizations across the world. There's installations in Dubai, Europe, South America, Australia, New Zealand. This product is well tested across many money markets. Now the platform has what you would expect from a large venue product. It's a multi-channel ticketing powerhouse. It delivers real-time, integrated, online, mobile, box office, call center, and season ticketing, all within a single, scalable program. From its origins as the Bay Area Seating Service in San Francisco, SoftTix has since joined TEG, Australia's leading ticketing, data analytics, and live entertainment company. It provides the software for Ticket Tech, the leading ticketing provider in Australia and New Zealand, where they top even Ticketmaster's market share. And that's exactly why it's ticketing that makes sense. Developers, meet ticketing pros. Seated in the office of Ticket Tech, working daily with ticketing professionals, this is a product that really works. When you see it, you just say, oh, that's how it should be done. So after years of progressive development done within the Ticket Tech offices, SoftTex is back in North America and better than ever. So we're bringing you the best new technology in the industry, backed by the best service in the industry. Why now and why Ticket Force? Well, as my friend SoftTix CTO Greg Fahey says, we left the States to focus on growth of the ticket technology business, and we've been looking for the right partner to come back to the U.S. market for about the last five years. He says they wanted to partner with an established company that could represent us in the American market, as opposed to us just going to each venue individually. And Ticket Force is just that partner. Now, for more than 12 years, we've been a leading provider of ticketing solutions for a variety of industries, such as music, arts, casinos, racing, festivals, fairs, theaters, and more. Our company cut its teeth early on large-scale events, including the Red Bull Air Races, showing our ability to be agile, smart, and provide what's sorely missing in much of the ticketing market today, common sense support. Now, we've grown since to service thousands of venues and promoters across every state and Canada. And without a customer-facing product, we've slowly been building a brand that is trusted by many. We retained 99% of our clients, and our sales were at $80 million in 2015. Now, the new enterprise platform will be offered in addition to our current platform, which has been provided by California-based Vision One, now Accesso, for the past 12 years. 
Current clients will have a true choice in the platform that best meets your needs. With the new platform, Ticketforce will be able to provide larger arenas and venues with a complete solution that can not only meet the most intense demands, but still deliver real-time reserve seating capability. The interactive seat map is like no other, and I can't wait for you to see it today. It also comes with a suite of new technology features that are not currently available in the States, like Invite a Friend, Full House, Power Web Mobile. I've had many people ask me, what size venues is this solution suitable for? Why should I take a look? Well, it's fully scalable to any size because Ticketforce will provide full servicing, including configuration, hosting, event builds and support, marketing, on-site support, equipment. And why should you take a look? Well, the solution offers venues the opportunity to control exactly what you want in your ticketing. Like Event Studio that was created to give you agile control once events are built, while it eliminates the need for you to do complex configuration. There's also multiple storefronts, branding options, merchant processing, and data control. Now, while bringing ticketing in-house has worked for some venues, many have been wary of having to choose between self-managing everything or giving up too much control to the big agencies who offer a large footprint and the service they need. And it's been a difficult choice until now. Today, after introducing the product to you, we're going to take a tour online to see some of the features you've been hearing about in a live demo environment. And then we'll jump back onto the presentation to view a few additional features and wrap it up. Now, following this preview, we'll give you details on how you can get a full and personalized demo. Before we jump to features, here's some of the basics you're going to want to know. First of all, you can run the product on Windows or Mac platform in the back end with all functionality. There is no software to install for box office or any of the additional functions. We offer full access control solutions, including the latest in hardware. Multi-format tickets can be scanned with a single turnstile or a handheld through our partnership with Alvarado, which is a pro provider of access control equipment to large venues everywhere. We're EMV compatible, utilizing Elevon Merchant Processing. You can use your account or ours or both. We're fully hosted through Amazon Web Services, which includes PCI Level 1 compliancy. There are CRM capabilities through a native or built-in CRM product included in the platform. Or you can connect to Salesforce through an API that's already built and being used. There's an integrated email marketing called Campaign Manager that we'll look at more closely today. And there are marketing tools and integrations that are built around helping you to sell more tickets. And none of that is any good if you don't have good analytics. So we've got built-in analytics called Insight that we'll also take a fairly in-depth look at today. So the system is built around multiple digital platforms, as I like to call it. And this is where you'll see the incredible difference from the usual and the real best of both worlds in ticketing. So rather than choose between a single look of plat or platform, whether you're going with an agency system or a private label, your digital options are actually many. Starting with the Ticketforce homepage, which will be launching new at Ticketforce.com. Within that, there are homepage takeovers that are very popular. There's full white label sites. And there's a branded mobile site and mobile application, all built in. These tools are far more than sales and distribution channels. They are valuable marketing assets and they're key to help with event discovery and deliver rich, engaging content to help you sell more tickets across every platform. I'm going to start with a quick view of the ticketing homepage. And we'll refer to this as the ticketing homepage. And again, it's launching this August at TicketForce.com. And it's a customer facing page. It's a new dynamic digital platform. It's optimized for people to access through every browser, through the desktop, through tablet and mobile devices. Now, rather than give up a major presence in the market that's common with white label ticketing, the new TicketForce.com will provide you with maximum exposure for your events and give you the power of our digital marketing driving traffic to the site. So let's take a quick tour of some samples of how you can display your sales all from a single inventory, no allocations, 
before we head online. We mentioned the popular homepage takeover. So here you see it enhanced with the Amy Schumer homepage takeover. Homepage takeovers offer you incredible visibility and can change by location. So you have the opportunity to promote your event maybe during its preview, its on sale, or to push sales during the cycle. So homepage takeovers on the Ticket Force homepage bring your biggest events visibility where and when you need it the most. Now you'll see that there's browsing by genre on the page. So once we click in here, you can take, uh, buyers can also get more of your brand directed at their tastes and preferences. So within the sports genre, you can see here the boomers takeover of just the sports page. So you can do the entire home page or just a genre or an area on the home page takeover. Now we've taken event pages to a whole new level with what we like to call superhero. It'll utilize the full wide screen. It'll adapt to every size screen. And you can display here branded content. You can see the videos, photos, these amazing sidebar images, and detailed event information that appears and stays with your buyer all the way through the purchase process. Now, there are some who still prefer the white label ticketing. Well, this could be done for individual teams, maybe a Broadway series, or you can do it for your venue where Ticket Force virtually disappears through the entire buying experience. A white label ticketing site takes your brand front and center and used in addition to the Ticket Force homepage or on its own, the white label site includes all the same features you'll see on the homepage and all from the same inventory. So you can sell tickets the traditional way, taking advantage of powerful digital marketing, while you also present your inventory deals and custom ads on a white label site that keeps your brand throughout the sale. And you don't lose any functionality. You can see here on the All Blacks page, they've got the full 3D seat map. Everything is exactly the same. A couple key features to using these white label sites is you can do social, social media integration with your social media platforms, not those of the ticketing agency, so that you can increase your viral sharing. And then white label pages allow you to supply a lot more content directly to your customers than the big agency websites. We can also deliver the ability to retarget your customers who abandon purchase or share content for their friends via email and social media. So while you could choose to use white label ticketing exclusively, you don't have to give up the marketing power of a ticketing agency. You can choose to present your inventory literally in as many storefronts as you like. That's where in-house ticketing really takes a dive. So let's see what you're missing. We're going to jump online. We're going to take a look at the Ticket Tech homepage, and we're going to a live environment now. The ticketing homepage presents your visitors with personalized content based on their location and their event genre preferences. So you can see we're logged in here and it's detecting my location. So it's gonna serve up content based on where I'm at and what's relevant to me. If I'm a return buyer, it's gonna know what my buying preferences are and serve up content based on that. So you can see here the very popular Amy Schumer, that's the design of the homepage, and they've got the takeover going today. You click here tomorrow, it might be a different event. Basically, it just, Put your images all the way across the screen as soon as somebody jumps on the ticketforce.com. It's a powerful, high-impact exposure of an event. And they happen to have the pre-sale going on right now, so it makes all kinds of sense for them. Some other ways that content will be served up is you can determine right here what events might be relevant to me based on my past preferences and my location. We can post recommended events, hot new just announced events, and the popular waitlist events that we'll look at a little more. So right on this homepage, there's a lot of great content that's relevant to me, and I don't have to do a lot of searching around to try to figure out what I want to buy and what I'm looking for. Scrolling on down further, we've got the Ticket Tech Fan Hangout. Now this is great 
when ticketing pages really become full of interactive and fan-generated content. It really brings excitement and something fun to the home page. When we get into genre-based looks then, we can go ahead and click here. If I know I'm looking at a theater, I can either search for it here. If I don't see it on the home page, I can simply click into the theater and arts. And now from here, I may be able to go in and see exactly what's going on with the event that I want. So now you've got a different version of events that are listed here. And all these categories now are going to be within that particular genre that I'm looking for. Now, Kinky Boots did a great, great uh, event page. So you can see here it's taken over uh, with their sparkly design absolutely every piece of this page. The only real thing left here that you've got is the Ticket Tech logo. Outside of that, there's video content. This is a powerful, powerful event web page. We can do all types of general tickets, group bookings, travel packages, reviews that are here, video, and even photo galleries from the show. This is not a white label site. This is just a, a powered up um, superhero event page, as we call it. So that's an idea of what you get with the new Ticketforce.com and what that ticketing homepage is going to offer you. Now we're going to go into a demo environment so that you can see some of the features that are revolutioning, revolutionizing the ticket buying experience. I want to focus first on the interactive seat map. And when I first saw this interactive map, I thought, absolutely genius. Selling reserved seating online has never been difficult. But selling it in a way that is good for your customers and good for you is a challenge. So we've had the online seat selection come around. And for some, it just doesn't work. And they end up turning it off because you're selling with sporadic, spotty, uh, empty seats that you're left with. The customers can get frustrated clicking in and out of different areas to sit on. So what we're going to do is take a look at the Monster Jam. And we're going to go ahead and see that map. Now there's a couple of ways that you can use the seat map, and this is your choice. The first one I'm going to show you is true online seat selection. Because what the customer will do is choose the section they want to sit in, and then the system will, with our fabulous um, algorithms that we have, we can create truly best available seating. Then on the next screen, I'll see where I'm sitting and have the opportunity to move if I don't like it. Now once this has been launched, and when the configuration is done properly, Ticket Tech is seeing about a 90% rate of people that stay with those seats. It eliminates the frustration for the buyer. It allows you as the venue to really have control of how your venue is going to sell and recommending truly great seats for your customers. So I can buy two ways. You'll see here on this interactive map, if I want to browse by the price category, as I mouse over on the right-hand side, on the left-hand side, you'll see the sections that have that category enabled. So if I know I want to be in VIP seating, I can easily see which sections that's going to have. If I want to go down to price category C, I can see where that is at. So it's interactive, and this is a real quick way to buy tickets. If I know I want $20 tickets and I can come in here to category A, it's as simple as choosing the number of seats that I want, and they're going to be in my cart. But I can also play around with the map to see what's available over here. This allows me, without clicking in and out of sections, to see exactly where I might want to sit. Now, again, as I mouse over these sections, you'll notice on the right-hand side that the price categories appropriately are lighting up. So if I know I want to be down here on the floor seating, it's going to tell me up there in that box that I can buy up to 10 tickets. And that's usually based on my ticket limit. So if I've got a cart limit set up at 10, this means I could buy 10 tickets together by clicking here. 
Section four is a little more crowded with up to five tickets. So let's take a look. I'm gonna go with section eight today. And once I click on that, now I can choose the type of ticket that I want. So if there are multiple seat types available here, right at this point, I can select those. But I've just got regular admission. I choose my delivery method here and I click next. Now, I'm in a shopping cart format, but I can also see a full seat map and where I'm sitting. Now this has put me in the back row and I can see that the, none of the other seats are available. Let's say that I decided I'd rather be in the middle of this row. I can actually click around and it'll let me move in pairs of two. If I come down here, it's not gonna let me leave that seat open on the middle, on the end, sorry. But anywhere that it's available where I can put the number of seats in, if I choose to sit in the middle instead, I can simply click there and it's gonna ask me, do you wanna move your seats? And I can say yes. Now keep in mind, when you do the algorithms right and with all the interactive map that happens on that first page, about 90% of people are gonna stay in the fabulous seats that the system selects, which means for you as a venue, you're gonna have a lot more control over how that house fills up and a lot less empty seats to sell. So that is a view of the online seat selection in its full capacity. And again, that control is all up to you. You can choose exactly which venues and you want to use which type of seating choice for and which events. Now, the great thing about the system being used so heavily, particularly Australia, New Zealand, and these large venues, is that it's been tested on very heavy on sales, and this works. So now I'm in my shopping cart, I've signed in. I can still, from this point of view, I could change my delivery method if I wanted to, I can view my total, we're at a demo event, obviously. I can even see the seat map one last time without having to leave this page and exactly where my seats are located and the section over here that I'm in. I have a few other options. My details are all in here. We are able to save credit cards through tokens, through the use of tokens, uh, so that it is secure, PCI compliant, but I don't have to enter my entire card number again for this purchase once I've logged in. So that's a huge advantage. And that's it. So everything on this page, easy to use, easy to scroll down. I can see exactly what I'm getting, um, a lot of control here, and then I simply go in and complete my order. Now I'm gonna jump into a different type of seat map. We're gonna look at the Keith Urban event, and I'm gonna show you how you can have your map turned on so that people can select what section they wanna sit in. They can see exactly where their seats are, but we've turned off the permission for them to be able to change those seats. So that's two options, both with the interactive maps hard at work. Now, before I do that, what about a really quick checkout? Keith Urban just went on sale, and all I care is that I get two of the very best. I don't care if it's the most expensive tickets. I want to see this show. I want the best possible seats. So I'm going to hit get me two tickets and go with what we call fast check. And just like that, I've got tickets uh, back in my cart. One click from there, I want to view the seat map. If I want to take the time to do that, I can, because my seats are in my cart. I'm pretty happy. I've got those GA floor seats that I wanted. My personal details are in because I'm already logged in. In literally two clicks, except the policy, I've got my order completed. I'm gonna go ahead and go remove these so we don't have to run this all by again. And now we're gonna show you the other interactive seat map option. Choose by price or section. So this is gonna show you the same venue map, the same interactive options. I again can go by price category 
and select what I want this way. Or I can choose exactly what section I want to sit in. And on the next page, I'll see where those seats are. So again, it gives me a lot of flexibility as a buyer. I feel a sense of control, but I'm not overwhelmed with clicking into sections and then having to go back and losing my place or being told, which is the most frustrating thing for me as a ticket buyer sometimes, there's not that many seats for you. So you spend time clicking around and looking. This eliminates all of that frustration and tells you right where you're gonna sit. So I'm liking section six, where I can buy up to that six limit, ticket limit. And once I click on it, it's giving me the price range. It will give me the price here. And I can choose how many tickets I wanna buy. So that's the interactive seat map. And the next page, you'll see that I can see my seat location, but I will not be able to move. But I wanna pause here, because I'm usually the person that's gonna take a couple people along with me. So my normal purchase, maybe I'd buy four tickets, or I'm trying to call my friends quickly and say, I got some great seats in the cart for Keith Urban, do you wanna go? And I'm trying to get a commitment because these people are gonna to have to pay me a couple hundred bucks a ticket later. The people at Softix tried to solve that problem. And they created something called Invite a Friend. So now I can buy two tickets for me, and I can choose to have two tickets held right next to me for my friends. Now you as the venue don't have to do this, but the advantages are huge. You're gonna gain a lot more data because now you're, not, you're gonna know my friend's name and email and buying habits and be able to communicate with them instead of me always being that one ticket buyer for those four or five or six people. Invite a friend uh, can be turned on and off and you can have the control on this event, we've got it set at a maximum of four tickets. You don't want to get your whole inventory held up. And you can literally set a time frame of two hours or two days based on how your event is selling, that these seats will be held. You do nothing. You don't have to do anything at the box office, answer any phone calls, release seats. Everything is automated. So I'm going to hold two seats for my friends. So now I've bought two and I'm holding two. Again, I choose my delivery on this first page so that when I move on, it's very quick. And now I'm into the shopping cart. I can see exactly where I'm sitting. I'm thrilled. I've got second row seats. I can't move them like we could on the previous event, but I've got that sense of control so that if I wanted to get these out of my cart and go look at a different section, I could do that. But this way I'm happy about it. You can see the color coding. My seats are in blue, my friend's seats are in the fuchsia color. So I'm gonna lock down and pay for the blue seats and the other two seats are gonna go into a status called invite a friend. Now you will see those on your reports. So you'll be able to see in all real time how many seats are in that status of invite a friend and that is separate from any other type of promoter holds or artist holds that you might have. So with that, I see where my section is I can see exactly what seats I have, and I'm ready to pay and get out of there. Now, on the Keith Urban event, we've decided to do some merchandising. This is easy to do, and what I love about this is it doesn't take you to a whole other page or get me off of this page. So sometimes you might have a shopping cart call out, and I click, and I'm out of that cart. We want to keep the people in the shopping cart so that our abandon rate is as low as possible. So what this is is just a page that slides in to offer your merchandise. It has a separate type of mailing because you can't obviously do a print at home like I have for my tickets for an album. I can offer a digital or a physical. And maybe I want to pick up a t-shirt. We can choose the sizes here. I want to add that to my basket. It's going to do it right now. You can see the one item is added. And I've got now go to payment. So that was just a page that slipped in there before this final checkout page. So once again, I've got the concert tickets in here with my print at home, my admission. I have the chance to remove them here. I have two tickets reserved next to me. It says these tickets will be held for however many hours and invitations can be sent via Facebook and email once we complete our purchase. If I forgot where those seats were at, I'm able to see the seat map right within the shopping cart. Notice there's no pop-ups to block things that are gonna disturb the normal 
process here. We're going to keep moving them right through the sales process. I can see my t-shirt order. I can check that my details are correct. And all I have to do to complete this order is accept the terms. Now, when we first uh, had the launch of Invite a Friend, it was all via email. So you can do that. You can type in your friend's email addresses here. You've got to do it separately, and it sends them out an email with a link. And that's the way Invite a Friend works. It's a unique link. No password is required. No call to the box office. Nothing like that at all. But adding Facebook has made it really fabulous because I'm holding those two seats, but maybe I've got three or four people that I think might want to come and are interested. I can hit to share on Facebook. And since I'm logged in, that's going to bring up my page. And I can decide exactly who I want to tag now in this post. So the link's going to be on here. And the link has an embedded permission in it so that only through that link can those seats be purchased that are being held and only during that time frame. So I can tag whoever I want. I can tag specific friends or I can just make it public. You as the venue have to do nothing. You'll see on your reports the number of tickets that are in this status. They'll fall off or they'll be sold and you'll have that data and gain a new buyer. Invite a friend is not new. Uh, for Ticket Tech, it's been used for a number of years. It's tested. I know people will copy it here. Uh, it, people will try to develop it. And that's fine because it's something that, you know, all the companies should really be doing to provide great technology for you. Those of us that are interested in helping you sell more tickets, um, that's the bottom line. And this does, has been proven to sell you more tickets. The nice thing, while it's new for us here in North America, it's been tested and we, we know it works. So we use the Keith Urban event. We've seen the ticket quick checkout. We've seen both versions of the online seat selection where I can change my location and where I can't. If you end up getting a further demo, you're going to want to see how amazing it is where um, when you can set up, and this is what the Ticket Force team will do, is help you determine exactly, very specifically, how you're going to sell your house, whether it's from the center out, whether it's from the front back, from the back front. It's based on your industry, based on what's going on in your venue. You're going to want to fill your house in different ways. Now, I want to show you a couple other things while we're in here. We had looked at the New Zealand rugby team, the All Blacks. We looked at their pages um, on the presentation briefly as an example of a white label page. But I also want to tell you very briefly about MemberLink. And MemberLink is season ticket fully branded platform that integrates completely with the regular Softix ticketing platform. MemberLink offers these beautiful branded pages where I can come in as a fan. It works well for Broadway. It works well for professional sports teams. And you get the login. They can register and come here to log in and become an All Blacks fan. And it can integrate completely with your current fan club database. So you've got the option to sign in and register to join. So if you've got season tickets or if you're a sports team, you're dealing with a professional college level team and you've got the season ticket module, everything can happen right here from season ticket renewals, upgrading your seats, uh, rebuying your seats for next year. All those things that need to happen can take place right within this full branded team site or uh, event site for your series or your season. And again, this was built on the professional team level, so it's got high level degree of capabilities and again, not new, tried and tested and true. And then of course, it also can sell tickets from here for single, single digit. So if you get in, you wanna buy tickets while you're in here, you can certainly do that as well. The brand maintains forward um, and it's a really great fan forward site. Now, there's also uh, a couple other things that were not on the demo events that I wanted to show you. People always ask about discount codes and passwords and things like that, and absolutely, this system does have um, the full capabilities. So this is just a live event here that you can see, 
um, where if you've got any type of discount code, passcode, you can enter it here. It'll discount tickets. It'll get you early access. It can get you access to specific seats that are not open otherwise. So that's a fabulous feature that you can turn on and off. And again, these are some of the complexities that come with ticketing that we need to be able to meet these needs and we need to have a team behind you that can help you to do that. And that's where Ticketforce comes in. Now, on one of the more exciting things that our team has discovered is something that we like to call the magic box. So now I'm in, I'm taking a look at the soccer event. And you can see this box here that appears right on that first home page or on that event page. And this is a page that allows you to do what we call entitlements. Entitlements are simply codes, barcodes, membership numbers, anything that you've generated or we've generated from the ticket system, it doesn't matter, could be in the case of maybe a casino, you could have your players club numbers, season ticket holders, maybe they can put their season ticket number in here and have access to additional tickets at a discounted price. So that's why we call it entitlements. It's things that you're entitled to based on some sort of a membership. You can use this for Groupon. And you can see that there's multiple numbers I can enter here. So as our team started to see and get trained and learn about this, we ended up calling it the magic box because it really allows for integration into almost any system, universities with student IDs. We can integrate with that so that they can come in and get free tickets at a certain limit. We've solved a lot of problems with what we call the magic box, and we're very excited to be able to share that with you in more detail. But I wanted to give you a glimpse today and again, it can be used for season ticket holders. It can be used for membership numbers, student numbers, players club numbers, all across the board, all across many industries, to give people special seating areas, seating prices, um, event access, anything like that that you can think of. Okay, now to close out our preview today, I'm going to move rather quickly through some additional features on the presentation. One of the things I'm the most excited about with this product is how many pieces of it are what we call native to the solution. Native means it's built in and it's part of the core product. I've seen a trend lately in ticketing where companies are interfacing with a lot of products third party to get the job done. And while that's okay, APIs can work well, building a product that relies too heavily on third parties can result in a mess. It can result in unsupported issues. So everything I'm going to show you today is included in the base solution. It's built and supported by the engineers at Softix. Some of you may be interested in additional offerings through APIs, including Salesforce that I mentioned, used by many teams and large organizations for season ticket sales, or QQ. Both of those APIs are already done, written, tested, and readily available. Now, we're going to start with Power Web Mobile Site. This is included in your ticketing system. It's a mobile site that's optimized for quick sales. It can be skinned to your brand. Seems funny that I have to mention this because we would assume that, that everybody's going to have a good mobile site for you, but um, they're not all good and they're not all there. So this mobile site, Power Web Mobile, makes it easy for customers to find events that are on sale because it, it manages featured items rather than chronological ordering. The mobile platform, though it's really familiar, it's still a very growing component of our sales channel mix. And it always should bring buyers back to your brand. So the mobile site can portray your whole inventory that's available on the desktop. It can display local content and give you the ability to set location. You need that through location services in your phone. And best of all, both the desktop and the mobile content is managed in one place with Power Web CMS. Now keep in mind over 55% of emails sent are still being opened on a smartphone and that's rising. So the ability for a customer to immediately follow through on a call to action on their phone is really critical. Now together with mobile delivery, the mobile ticketing solution provides customers with an easy to use end-to-end -end experience. And what does it look like? Well, the event branded pages on the mobile site can include images, video, shortened event synopsis and social integration. And it gives the ability to share events via social media and email right within the mobile app. Interactive seat maps also convey 
so you get no loss of functionality to the mobile buyer, and why you ensure a quick and easy purchase on the go. Now speaking of mobile tickets, let's talk about that a little. They're not usually very interesting, but now they are. Pioneered for the 2015 Australian Open, the Dynamic Mobile Ticket offers additional tools that patrons can access right on their ticket. So what you see in that first phone, the top part may look familiar with the, uh, the QR barcode ready to get me into the venue. So this is indeed the mobile ticket. As you scroll down, you'll see things that don't look as normal. Rather than what we call static content that doesn't change, the dynamic mobile ticket features additional and most importantly, changeable content that is right on the ticket. We're not looking at a mobile site. We're not looking at a mobile app. You're actually looking at your mobile ticket right now. now. For the Australian Open, we added a daily order of play schedule, directions to the venue, parking information, and current weather. Dynamic mobile tickets can also offer up-to-the-minute offers, so they can become almost like a little mini app for the event. You can serve up different content, ads, or weather based on the time frame prior to the event, or based on if the user pulls up the event on the event day. Dynamic mobile tickets are included with your solution. And one last piece of the mobile puzzle is the mobile app. Included in that solution in keeping with the power of mobile, TicketForce is going to offer a truly multi-platform app that is accessible to over 95% of smartphone users across Apple, Windows, and Android devices. The app has been designed to complement the mobile site but it provides more immersive experience with features that allow customers to interact with event content in more engaging ways. So while the mobile site is designed to get you through ticket sales, the mobile app is more interactive. Now there's a lot of promotional opportunities through the mobile app with a focus on presenting customers with location-based content because they're out and about when they're on their phone. So these include home screen categories, just added can pop up, what's on guide. So if you've got customers in a new area, they can set their location and see what's on in their area. Fabulous for travelers. There's a personal ticket wallet that provides a nice location to find all your mobile tickets for the upcoming events. So this gives people a great reason to download the app because they don't have to go and store it in Passbook or some other third-party site. There's great social plugins, as there should be, so that customers can share event content, and you can get all that user-generated content, and you know that the tagging will be done right. You could do event reminders that integrate with the phone's calendar. So it provides them with the ability to say, remind me about this event, and pops it onto their calendar. The Friend Spotter feature allows customers to locate Facebook friends within a venue once they're there using the mobile phone viewfinder. Now, the most fun piece of the app is the event alerts. So once I've downloaded the app as a customer and I've enabled the location services, I can get event alerts based on where I am. Now how does this work? Most of the companies I know about are recommending the use of beacons. And beacon technology resides within your venue and spits out basically a beacon so that it can pick up when people come nearby. We've got something a little more native than that. We use geofencing for our venues. When we build the venue, we can simply put in the coordinates from the maps and build geofencing areas around and near your venue. Now you might, if you live in an urban area, want to get the train stop or the bus stop that's nearby. You might want to do the parking lot where the people are shuttling in. You can do multiple different geofencing areas where it makes sense for your venue. What happens? The customer will receive a push notification that details what that event is when they reach, when they come within that circle. That's why we call it a geofence. It's literally an area where it pops up if you stand into that area. So you can see the event alert that's coming on there. Now, whether that's for an event that's on sale today, so I'm parking, and I can save myself walking and waiting in line, and I can buy my ticket right on my mobile phone. And that's what happens. You click in with that event alert, and you're deep in a link where you're ready to buy a ticket with a couple of clicks bypassing the box office, the long lines, and getting right into the venue. So that's the mobile app, the mobile dynamic ticket, and the mobile site, 
all wrapped up. A couple other features that are going to help you sell more tickets. Full House. A developing ticketing software in the same office as the agencies results in an agile and advanced product. So simply put, software engineers aren't usually out in the ticketing field every day like the ticketing professionals are. Very much like TicketForce's office, where we manage thousands of events every year, SoftTix developers are situated with the Ticket Tech Pros right in the same office. And this next feature is a prime example of just how well that works. Faced with a near sellout soccer match, the Ticket Tech marketing team was looking for a way to sell the mostly single seats remaining in their arena. So to most ticket buyers, the event appeared to be a sellout, as folks tend to buy tickets at least in pairs. So they said, what if we could let everyone with an empty seat or maybe two next to them know that they could bring someone else or add to their group? If you take a look at this crowd photo we have, it might look like your, your venue looks many times where you feel like it's full, but if you notice, there's a lot of single and double seats in between orders. We want to fill those seats. So the marketing team took a short walk upstairs to talk to developers, which resulted in a test run of full house and it was successful. Out of about the 800 empty seats they had in this arena, 792 of them sold on that first day. So maybe you can say goodbye to random seats that make up too much of your unsold inventory. Spotty seat maps. Use full house, a feature that we're sure, again, many are gonna attempt to copy, but is now operational, tested and refined. It works and it's included now. All you have to do is ask the Ticket Force team to execute full house and watch your tickets sell. Now the concept behind it is simple. Find the seats, create a unique link to send out to those buyers with seats next to them. And in that way it works much like full house or invite a friend. So just like invite a friend, there's no need for the original buyer to purchase seats and collect money later. The new buyer buys the seats, knowing they'll be next to their friends without looking through the whole map. They purchase on their own within the time frame. No one else can purchase while they're on hold. As the venue, you're gaining new buyers, filling seats, and getting data again on every seat holder. So that's full house. Waitlist can also help you sell more tickets. Waitlisting your top events has become a must for ticketing for large venues. Patrons who take the time to register and be notified when tickets go on sale for their favorite events convert to high sales rates, often up to 80%. And what's the result of that for you? Predictable on sales. So waitlisting can also be used to predict what your ticket sales are going to be. In some cases, you may even add additional show dates. Our waitlist appears on the ticketing homepage and it lists available shows to sign up for. Your buyers can monitor their waitlist and they can be notified by email or text when shows become available. So you can see the waitlist notifications and once subscribed, they'll get an email confirmation. When the tour is announced, dates or tickets become available, additional notifications are sent automatically from the system. There's easy buying links via email, the mobile site or the app, making ticket purchases fast. Pre-sale links also automate the process with embedded links uh, eliminating the need for passwords. Campaign Manager is a built-in email tool. It's imperative to managing your venue-specific campaigns and to help build your tribe of followers. Now, this is something where white label ticketing has really helped people to build data tribes. But the Ticket Force Campaign Manager offers easy tools to execute and track emails without segmenting or downloading your data. Campaign Manager is a powerful, it's a self-managed email system. Uh, we can set up uh, different templates for you so that it's easy for you to launch and go. It allows you to create and send your branded email campaigns right to your customers, right with, from within the application. And you can view your campaign results in real time. So you're getting superior data integration you're getting access to your database, My Ticket Force Preferences. So when I sign up and say I love to go to Broadway, you're going to see that in my file and be able to communicate with me. It'll make it possible for you to get a deeper insight into what your preferences are of your customers and provide them with email marketing that makes sense. Lastly, we have insights. When hot events go on sale, everybody's got a lot at stake. And without access to real-time data, 
you're going to slow down the decision making process. So if you don't roll that extra show at just the right moment, everybody's bottom line is hurting. And aside from that, many venues are sadly left using third party data platforms and they kind of leave you hanging. Once again, we can offer you an integrated platform that's built solely for ticketing. So we're introducing Insight. Insight gives your clients access to real-time web-based sales data on desktop and mobile devices. So you can see both versions here. Not only can Insight tell you how many seats have sold, it tells you how many more are currently in shopping baskets about to be purchased. So it can help you make smarter calls about exactly when an event will sell out. Insight displays data in tables and charts according to your preferences, and you can download it up to the minute data right into Excel. You can provide inside access to specific users, including your promoters, agents, or other stakeholders in your events. And you're also offered InfoStream, where if you want, you can deliver rich, interactive, web-based reporting and analytics to both internal and external users. So InfoStream is your data stream that allows you to schedule reports for delivery in multiple formats and essentially opens up all the data in the ticketing system so you can create any custom report you can think of. You can also connect it to other data sources and combine these with your ticketing data. So Insight integrates with data sources like Google Analytics and Mosaic to help provide you with really rich data that you can actually see and use. Now you can access Insight from a variety of devices, a mobile phone to a desktop computer. The mobile phone view on your right has been designed especially for on-the-go quick referencing, while tablets in the computer view on the left have the maximum number of features. Insight features quick and easy tools easy to read graphic display. So you can see how you can get such a shot here. I'm looking at a watch list and you can set up multiple watch lists. Um, so if you're looking at the desktop view on the left, we fade it out because this is some live data, but you can see we've got tickets sold today on the first column. Dibs are your seats in transaction. And so we've got people that have got those seats on hold and they're transacting right now. You've got your full available inventory, the number of tickets sold, then you've got revenue today, revenue total, and on the last column on the right, you've got active users. If you drop down to the map below, you can actually see the location of where those active users are coming from. Exporting data, again, is easy right from Insight. You can see there's a quick button there to export. The seat status dashboard. This is going to give you the ability to see what's available, what's comp, what's sold, what's hold. And here you can see the invite a friend's hold in the bottom left column there. And it's all broken out by category. So again, we're not having to extract reports. We can look at these. We can, we can send them out to CSV if we want to. But it gives a very easy view. And then the sales dashboard is essentially the same information we had on the previous report, but it's in a block style. So you can get a real visual of what's selling. We've chosen the channel report for this one, so you can see over on the right what's been sold through the agency, the box office, the call center, group sales, holds, and the web. It's all color-coded. I hope today's preview of the new TicketForce Enterprise platform has answered some of your questions, and it may raise some others. Today's attendees are a mix of our current clients, and those who are taking a look for your venue, and others are here just out of curiosity. My intent was to give you an overview of the solution and help you determine what's right for you. Now, if you're a current client, you're gonna get a personal review of your solution needs. You'll get a time frame if you choose to move to the new product and what you can expect in a potential transition. Rest assured, we're not gonna push you to, into a product that isn't suited to your needs. But if you're looking for a new option in ticketing and you wanna take a closer look, here's a reminder of what we looked at today. You can get the best of both worlds, a powerhouse agency service with your brand and control of data and dollars. You're getting a tested platform that's been used worldwide in world-class venues, but is scalable to every size venue. You can literally choose your level of service, including doing your own event management or having the Ticketforce team do it, our call center or yours, on-site support, equipment, and marketing capabilities. You've got integrations including a native CRM, the email campaign manager, the Salesforce API, Insight, and the venue app that are included. You'll sell more tickets with a VitaFriend, Full House, Waitlist, Upsells, and more. You'll have promotional opportunities at every turn on the ticketing homepage, including homepage takeover. 
you get powerful integrated analytics with Insight with no additional fees, no additional configuration. And MemberLink, which is our white label model module for season tickets used by pro sports and major arts venues. And yes, so we didn't take a look at it today. There's a ticket marketplace for your fans to resell their tickets without leaving the site. We thought you'd like that. No more integrations with third-party resellers. So I'm going to close today. And just a personal note, I'm really proud of Ticket Force and the innovative team we have. And I've always run the company with a focus on making clients happy. It's not an easy road to choose, but some technology companies, many in our industry, put advances before people, technology before support, money before know-how. As a result, there's many good companies who care about clients, but there are still many who can't get what they need. They get technology released before it's ready. They experience delays and failed setups, cumbersome products put in the wrong venues. I'm proud of the fact that we took nearly five years to build the relationship with Softix and select the right product and company. And their commitment to ticketing people and doing things well mirrors ours. And their software is tested and ready for you today. And we've not rushed through our own training, our own configuration and setup process, so we're not launching a product we can't support. While we hope to launch this spring, more time, careful processes, and thoughtful training won out. And now we're ready. And if you are too, you can get more information and a personal demo in several ways. We're going to be at Venue Connect in just a few days. You'll see us there on July 23rd. We've got a reception room from 3.30 to 5.30. We'll be there on Sunday, July 24th from 10.30 to 2.30 in the Ticket Force suite doing demos of this product. So if you're attending Venue Connect or in the Minneapolis area, please let us know and make sure you, you show up at one of those times. To request a personal demo for those that are not clients, please contact sales at ticketforce.com. Current clients, if you've got more questions, feel free to email me. It's lks at ticketforce.com or contact your client rep for more details. Now following this uh, webinar, you'll get a follow-up email and we'll have a box for you there to sign up to receive more updates on that email. If you'd like to use the phone, you can call us toll-free 866-726-3581. We apologize in advance if there's a bit of a wait. It's not every day that a new ticketing product hits the North American market and we're gonna do it right one customer at a time. We took nearly the full hour, but I'm very happy to remain and answer any questions that I can. Um, if they're very specific product questions, I won't pretend to be the product specialist here today, but I will do my best to answer your questions. And if not, thank you very much. A recording of this will be sent out. Um, you'll, we have your email from your sign up and feel free to share that with other people in your organization as well. I've got a few comments. Thanking for the webinar. You're very welcome. It was my pleasure and we're so excited. Um, I do see one here that's a little harder to view. Uh, Winnie, if you can read any of those for me, that would be great. Sure. Um, we've got a question here. Can a buyer get a real photo view of the stage area from the seats they've selected before checkout? Yes, you can do a stage view. Uh, that's something that we can add when we build your venue. Um, another question, I'm not sure how much we covered on CRM features. Do you have anything to add about um, what patron management is going to look like with Softix? Yep, and that would be, today was really just an overview. So the CRM that is part of the system um, has the basic features that mid-sized venues are going to need um, it, as far as scheduling and tracking communications with, say, your season ticket holders, etc. cetera. Um, but we're happy to do a more in-depth demo on any portions of the site um, and the system outside of that. If, if you're... Um, say a, a collegiate or professional sports team and you need a robust product like Salesforce, then we've got the API for that. Um, but yes, we'd be happy to, and we'll do more follow-up demos um, on what some of those 
individual features like the CRM are going to look like. Great. Um, someone is asking, can you speak to the ads capacity on the new system? Um, they noticed some when we were uh, viewing the Ticket Tech website. Yeah, there is a lot of ad capacity, and that will be at, you know, the, really the discretion of the Ticket Force marketing team. A lot of those will be served up local ads, but also uh, you can purchase that space as banner ads, and we can put that into a marketing program for you as well. So the ad space can be used for things that are location-based outside of ticketing and also an opportunity for you to have ad placement. Uh, another question, um, this one's from a client. Will the new Softix platform integrate with our website skin styling? Yes, um, so you can have absolutely the same white label. Um, skin is a great word to call it. You can have that same white label look. Uh, it's a bit of what I showed you there on the All Blacks team. Um, and so we can send you some links for that. But yes, we can build you um, a, a very beautiful, similar look to what you have right now um, for your white label system. Great. And uh, someone just asking, what makes us different from Frontgate and um, other ticketing providers? Well, I think the real difference, and I'm not completely familiar with Frontgate's capabilities, but most other ticket systems you're either choosing a white label scenario, so you've got something like maybe the Paculin product or our current product um, with Showware, where uh, you have a white label presence, but you do not have the opportunity to have a platform like the new Ticketforce.com, like Ticket Tech, like what you're used to with Ticketmaster. So it's an either or. Usually you're either selling in that environment or you're selling on the ticket agency environment. What really makes this platform different is the combination where you can have multiple sales fronts so you can bring people in through your own look and feel or you can use the power at the same time of you know a marketing agency that's going to be able to use digital marketing and bring people in and sell tickets that people you may not be reaching right now so it's really the best of both worlds that we're so excited about we think it's giving you an option for a product that just isn't matched here in, in North America right now Great. That's it for questions. Thank you very much. Again, we recorded this today. I appreciate your time and your interest, and we look forward to connecting with you again. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day.